Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the perimeter of this uh, triangle has been given to us as uh, 45 units. And likewise, the area of this uh, triangle has been given to us as uh, 45 uh, square units as well. And now our task is uh, to find uh, the value of all uh, these uh, missing uh, side lengths. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I'm going to label these uh, side lengths. I'm going to call uh, this uh, high party news as our uh, lower case C. I'm going to call uh, this uh, perpendicular side as uh, lower case A and this base uh, B. And now we are going to solve for A, B and C values. And here's our next step. We know the perimeter of this uh, triangle has been given to us as 45. And we know the perimeter is the sum of uh, all these uh, side lengths A plus B plus C is going to be equal to 45. So therefore I can write down A plus B plus uh, C is going to be equal to 45 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number one and here's our next step we know the area of this uh, triangle has been given to us as uh, 45 as well and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base uh, times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this triangle is lowercase b the height uh, is lowercase a and the area has been given to us as 45 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So area of our triangle is uh, 45 equals to a half times uh, our base uh, is uh, B times uh, height is uh, lowercase a. And now I'm going to remove this fraction by multiplying by 2 on both sides of this uh, equation. And here we can see this 2 and 1 divided by 2 they cancel each other out and we know that 2 times 45 is going to give us 90 so therefore uh, our a times b value turns out to be 90 and i'm going to label this one as our equation number two and finally let's recall the pythagorean uh, theorem since we are dealing with this uh, right triangle abc and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square so therefore I can write over here a square plus b square is going to be equal to c square and I'm going to label this one as our equation number three and now we are ended up with these uh, three equations so we are going to solve this system for a b and c and now let's focus on this uh, equation one and here I have copied down equation one over here and now I'm going to move this uh, C in the other side as you can see in this uh, next step and now I'm going to take a square on both uh, of these uh, sides as you can see and now let's recall this uh, famous uh, identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus 2ab we are going to apply it on this uh, left hand side binomial so therefore we can write uh, a square uh, plus uh, b square plus uh, 2 times uh, a b is going to be equal to and now let's recall another famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus 2 times a b and we are going to apply it on the right hand side of this uh, equation so therefore this is going to become uh, 20 25 plus uh, c square minus uh, 90 times uh, c and now let's make an observation we can see a square plus b square from equation 3 equals to c square so therefore i'm going to replace this uh, a square plus b square with uh, c square as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see c square and c square they cancel each other out so therefore we are ended up with the 2 times a b equals to 20 25 minus uh, 90 times c and now let's focus on uh, a times b from equation 2 a times b equals to 90 
so therefore i can now substitute a times b with uh, 90 over here equals to 20 25 minus 90 times c and in this uh, next step 2 times 90 is going to give us uh, 180 on the left hand side and now i'm going to move this uh, 90c on the left hand side and at the very same time i'm going to move uh, this 180 in the opposite direction as well as you can see in this uh, next step and now we know that uh, 2025 minus 180 is going to give us uh, 1845 as you can see in this uh, next step and now i'm going to divide both sides by 90 to isolate uh, c value so this uh, 90 and 90 is gone so therefore uh, our c value turns out to be equal to 20.5 units so thus our c value turns out to be 20.5 units and now we are going to find the value of uh, a and b as well let's focus on this equation one once again and here i have copied down equation one and we know our c value is uh, 20.5 as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this uh, c value with uh, 20.5 units and now we are going to subtract 20.5 from both sides this is uh, gone so therefore our a plus b value turns out to be 24.5 and i'm going to label this one as our equation number four and in this uh, equation four i'm going to move b on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to focus on this uh, equation 3 a square plus b square equal to c square and here i have copied down this uh, equation 3 over here and here let's focus on this uh, lowercase a i'm going to substitute this value as uh, 24.5 minus b over here and likewise uh, we already figured out our c value as uh, 20.5 so i'm going to replace that value over here so therefore uh, this uh, a square could be written as uh, 24.5 minus b whole uh, square and then uh, this uh, plus b square equal to our c value is 20.5 whole square on the right hand side and now let's recall this identity once again a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus 2 times a b we are going to apply it on this uh, binomial so therefore this could be written as 600 point uh, two five plus uh, b square minus uh, 49 times b and then now i'm going to write down plus uh, b square is going to be equal to and the right hand side is going to become 420 point uh, two five and now in this uh, next step i'm going to move this 420.25 on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to combine uh, these uh, like uh, terms as you can see so therefore we are ended up with uh, 2 times uh, b square minus uh, 49 times uh, b plus uh, 180 equal to 0 so thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic uh, equation and we are going to solve for b by using the quadratic uh, formula and here's the quadratic formula that we'll be using and in our case our uh, a value is going to be positive 2 b value is uh, negative 49 and c value is going to be 180 and please uh, bear in mind that don't confuse uh, this uh, b and this uh, b they are two different things let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic formula so we got uh, b value is negative 49 negative and negative become positive 49 over here plus r minus uh, the square root of uh, negative 49 whole uh, square minus 4 times a value is 2 and our c value is 180 all over 2 times uh, 2 
And if we simplify furthermore, we are ended up with the 49 plus or minus uh, 31 all over 4. In other words, our lowercase b value turns out to be 49 plus or minus uh, 31 uh, all over 4. And now we are going to split uh, these positive and negative uh, signs. As you can see in this uh, next step, one with a plus sign and one with a negative sign. And here we can see if we add 49 and 31, that is going to give us 80. And likewise, if we subtract 49 minus 31, that is going to give us 18. As you can see in this next step. So therefore, for this B, our B value turns out to be 20 units. And for this one, our B value is going to be equal to 4.5 units. So we got two scenarios. In scenario 1 our B value is 20 and in scenario 2 our B value is 4.5. And now let's focus on this uh, equation 4. And here I have copied down this uh, equation 4 over here on this side and on this side as well. And our equation 4 is A plus B equals to 24.5. And our B value is 20, so I'm going to substitute that value over here. And likewise, uh, I'm going to substitute that uh, B value 4.5 over uh, here. As you can see in this uh, next step, therefore for this uh, scenario 1, that is going to give us A equals to, if we subtract 20 from both sides, that is going to give us uh, 4.5 units. And for uh, this uh, second scenario, if I subtract 4.5 from both sides, our A value is going to be equal to 20 units. So thus for scenario 1, our A value is 4.5 and B value is uh, 20. And for uh, this scenario 2, if A value is 20, then B value is going to be 45 and our C value is going to be 20.5 in both scenarios. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, our values for A and B turns out to be, as you can see, this is for scenario one, and this one is for scenario two. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.